there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so you can look at the playlist and pick and choose which ones that interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They're all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should do the trick. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting because I'm aiming my tips at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you will learn something new. Now you've been watching my uh, login screen here and you're probably wondering why. That is because the topic today is changing your UI. When you first get Fantasy Grounds, the very first time that you open the program, you will see your table is set up with the UI at 100. And at 100, you don't have a lot of space um, for adding maps and your character um, sheet or anything else for that matter. Um, so most people are going to want to reduce the size of the UI from 100 down uh, to a number lower than that and that is going to depend on the size of your monitor and also how well you can see smaller text because the smaller you make the number the smaller the text will be you'll have a lot of space on the screen but if you can't read what's in the chat window or on the combat tracker you're probably not going to be able to play very well so what we recommend is that if you have a monitor that is under 19 inches, you probably want to start with a UI of about 90. And you can scroll down from there if you find that you still think that there's not enough room. If you have a monitor that's 20 inches or bigger, you can uh, start at 85 or you can even go as low as 75. Again, remembering that text is going to be smaller, but you'll have more room. So you can adjust and just keep coming in, uh, changing the number as you uh, experiment with the numbers and see which one works for you. So there are two ways that you can set your UI. The first way is by clicking on the settings button in the login screen. And this will give you, uh, this will make your UI um, available for all the set, all the sessions that you play in. It's it's a one-time thing. You set it once, and it it is the same number will affect all your sessions in in the future. But there's another way to do it if you just wanted to set it for one particular game that you happen to be in and maybe the next time you want to change it to something else, you can do it within the program. Now, to do it outside the program, you will click the settings button and when you do that, you'll have a pop-up that's going to ask you if you will allow the program to access your hard drive. <clears throat> so you say yes. And then you will get another pop-up that is going to um, allow you to change the UI settings. And I have a screenshot of that to show you, but I have to show it to you in the program because I have it in my images and maps folder. So I have that plus I have also made copies of my particular screen setting, which I use 85. I'm on a 17 inch monitor. Well, it's a laptop. And um, you can see what it looks like for my version from 85 to, uh, I have one set to 80, I have one set to 90, and then I have one set to 100. And I want you to see the difference, at least in regards to the size and everything that I have. Now you can see I should not have uh, adjusted adjusted that. I need to reset this because I um, was I taped this once before and it didn't work out. And so I'm taping it again and I shouldn't have loaded the last the way that the page looked last time because it was 
at a different size. So I'm going to move my dice tower up and I'm going to lock it in position and lock. Oh, the window's already locked. Oh, no, it isn't. Lock. I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is 85 and this is on my 17 inch monitor. Now I've made screenshots. Let me grab them. First of all, I want to I'll show you what you see when you want to scale the UI outside of the game. So you'll have the first pop-up that's going to ask you, is it okay to um, access your hard drive? And you say yes, and then it will give you this screen. And then in this area where I've circled in red, you would type in a number less than 100 because it's going to start at 100. Depending on your uh, size of your screen and your visual uh, ability. If you, you can see really small text, you could probably go lower depending on your size of your monitor. So I have it set at 85. And if I, then I close this, I will show you some images of what it looks like in my particular screen size when I reset it to 80. Now, when I reset it to 80, that makes things smaller. So you can see the text is smaller. You could see the dice are a lot smaller. Everything's a lot smaller. Um, I don't know if this is an actual representation. It might be a little bit bigger, but um, what I want you to mainly look at is how much space you have over here. You have a lot of space over here. And if this uh, text size is good for your eyesight, then maybe 80 would be a good choice for you. Again, it's going to depend on the size of your monitor. So let's look at 90. Turn on 90. And you can see we have a little less space than we do in the 85. The text is a little bit bigger, not too much bigger, looks pretty much the same actually, but um, that's 90. And then you can see in the final view what it looked like when you very, the very first time you turn in, fin turn on Fantasy Grounds, you get the UI of 100. And look at how little space you have here. It's barely more than one and a half times uh, the size of your combat tracker in your chat window. It's just crazy small. So that was how you will do it if you want it to be one setting and always be that same setting. And if you would like to, to set something for just the session that you're in, you're going to type backslash scale UI, all one word, and then let's, uh, let's go with, let's go with 80. So we're going to make it so there's more room and the text will be smaller. Now you can see how much smaller the text got. <clears throat> you also see that there's the problem of when you do this, it kind of messes up all your, the way things were set up. So then you have to open and lock and then I open this and I'm gonna slide this down here. Oops, I need to slide this over a little bit. And lock it back up and lock that back up. Move the combat tracker back over here. So there we go. So this is at 90. And this would affect only the session that I'm in right here. So I hope that you found th this tip or these tips uh, interesting. And I hope you'll continue to watch the rest of my tips in this series. And I thank you for watching. Bye.